Recently, I posted videos showing you Louis Vuitton bags under $1,000, Louis Vuitton leather bags under $1,000, and I told you I was going to make this video, and quite a few of you have been looking forward to it. You let me know that in the comments, and I appreciate it. This video is all about Louis Vuitton handbags that you can get under $500. Yes, you heard that right. Stay tuned to hear all about it. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Let's get right into this with a few disclaimers up front. First of all, these are all pre-loved bags. Good luck finding a brand new Louis Vuitton bag under $500. If you clicked on this video thinking that was going to happen, you must not be very familiar with Louis Vuitton retail prices. You can barely get a little pouch for under $500 anymore because the prices are insane. So that's one of the reasons that I make these videos. So those of you who don't want to spend those insane amounts of money can still get Louis Vuitton bags in more reasonable price points. Also, keep in mind, I'm showing you quite a few bags today. They are all from The Real Real, one of my favorite pre-loved websites. I've used them for most of my pre-loved purchases and overall have been very happy and had good experiences. But I'm showing you a lot of items. I have not had time to go through and look at every single one of them and the listings and the all the photos and the descriptions and all that stuff. So. If there's anything you are interested in, and of course everything will be linked below, please make sure you look carefully at the photos and the descriptions of the item and the condition so that you are more aware of any problems that might be had. Because once you do get into that 500 and below mark with Louis Vuitton bags, you are much more likely to run into condition issues. All right, let's get started. I have a few different categories here for you today. These are the things that will be most commonly found from Louis Vuitton under $500. This is monogram, fabric bags, epi leather, vernis leather, which is patent leather, Suhali leather, and a few pieces from the men's line, many of which are work bags like briefcases. So let's start with monogram. Of course you can find the Speedy under $500. If you're looking for one that is well used, you can find that and you can find them without damage. You can also get some in pretty fabulous condition in terms of the coated canvas itself, but you could have the Vachetta replaced if you'd like. I know some people really prefer the older canvas because it has changed from the newer canvas. So if you want that, but you want new Vachetta, that's a way you could do it. You'd probably still end up paying about retail, but you'd have the old canvas. You can also find the sack plat under $500. Now keep in mind with these monogram bags, in terms of condition, what you're gonna run into more often than not is Vachetta that has stains and watermarks on it. So that's what you're gonna mostly be looking for there. And if you run into any cracked coated canvas, steer clear of that, avoid abort mission, abort mission. You can also find the Deauville bag, which reminds me of a bowling bag, but I guess it is. It's sort of, it's not as domed, but that's a bowling bag, isn't it? This one's nice, the Batinoles, how do you say that? Bat, bat, uh -huh. I, I don't know. I don't speak French, but that's a nice bag. I like the details on the Vachetta buckles on the side. I saw a couple of these shoe bags. This one looks like it's in really good shape. The Vachetta on it looks really clean and nice, at least from that angle. Here's a vintage bag. You will run into that too. Lots of vintage bags in this price point. The Sonaline, Sonaline, and of course Papillon bags. You'll run into those, especially the larger sizes. This Vachetta is pretty dark on that one. Some people like that. You'll also find the Danube. This is a little crossbody bag. A lot of people like this kind of bag for travel. This one, they just have it listed as a tote bag. I'm not sure what the official name is. I don't think I've ever seen this bag before. It looks like a piece of luggage to me. And I did look at this listing because I was curious about it. The inside is lined in leather. Leather, guys. So this is quite a nice bag. It has these little straps on the top and buckly things. Now, I don't know what the bottom of that bag looks like. If it's all Vachetta, it's probably got some stains and watermarking on it, but that's going to happen with 
bags that have vachetta on the base, but that's a great price for a really unique bag that you're not going to see anywhere else. The kibos bags, these come in three sizes. This is the piano, which is the smallest. And another great crossbody bag, the Bologna. A lot of people like to use this for day to day or for travel. Next up, fabric bags, such as this Antigua kibos. I've always kind of liked these, but I feel like I wouldn't actually carry it. I know they have these in different colors, and I like that metal plate on the front. The Idol Elegy Fusain, Fusan. That's a nice looking one too. It looks like it has either a shoulder or a crossbody strap, and you've got some hardware on the front, and it looks like it's in the mini Lin fabric, which is the tiny monograms. Here's the Sabia Besace, and it's got something on the front. I can't quite tell what that is. Is it a floral? This one has leather trim, and it's lighter colors if you're looking for something that's not just dark brown. Here's a mini Lin Josephine GM. Now, one thing to keep in mind if you're looking at fabric bags, especially in this price point, they could have staining on them, so keep an eye out for that. Here's the mini Lin Francois bag. That one's pretty. I like the colorway on that. Just light colors with that dark mahogany trim. The mini Lin Speedy, of course. And here's another mini Lin Speedy, but the bandolier version, so that's nice. You get the shoulder strap. Oh, there's a bunch of epi leather under $500. Epi leather is more expensive than coated canvas when you're talking retail, but it does not hold its value. You can find lots of epi bags at fantastic price points and some really good ones. Like there's some weird styles in here, but there's some really good ones too. Like of course the classic Noe bag. I really like the Jasmine. I wish it had a shoulder strap, but that's such a pretty bag. It's a very structured bag. This is such a pretty work bag. The Passy, the Speedy. You can get all kinds of colors here too with the Epi leathers. The Alma, of course, we talked about that in previous videos. This is pretty, the Sac Verso. I like that one. The Triangle Bag. This was made for knitting needles and knitting supplies. Did you know that? Fun fact. The Sac du Paul. Maybe Paul needs one of those. This is one of the weird ones, at least in my opinion. The Petite Bucket Bag. The Soufflo, which looks very similar to the Jasmine. The Pont Neuf, another great work bag. And that has silver hardware. Several of these have silver hardware, like this one, the Segur. The Clooney. That one's like meh to me. I don't know. I love these, but I feel like I wouldn't wear it. Like, I don't think it would be a practical shape for me, but the Saint-Jacques. I'm trying, guys. The Pochette Montaigne. Here's another Pont Neuf, but not with the clasp. It's a same name for a different style bag. The Madeleine, that's pretty, that could be a nice work bag too. And now we move on to Vernis. That's another higher priced leather at retail, but doesn't hold its value. What you want to look for in terms of condition on the vernis bags is color transfer because that's pretty common with vernis. I'm going to start you off with my one of my very favorite bags which has kind of been on my wish list for years but I also don't think I would actually carry it which is why I don't have one. That is the Summit Drive bag. I think this is so pretty. It's like a little mini bowling bag and I love this color, the Amarant. Is that what it's called? Yes, Amarant. It's like a dark black cherry color. The reed bag. I like that these have, a lot of them anyway, have Vachetta trim. This one looks so nice. The Bellevue, that looks brand new. The Sherwood, that's all leather. The Rosewood Avenue. I feel like I'm announcing dogs in a dog show. The Sobe Clutch. The Wilshire PM. The Thompson Street. The Maple Drive. There's some beautiful bags in Vernie. Now, if you want a really high-end leather, beautiful and supple, and isn't going to have the problems that Vernie has, and isn't as structured and isn't as common as Epi, check out the Suhali leathers. These are goat leather. This one is L'Absolu de Voyage. It's a pretty bag. This one's very similar but taller. It's the Le Majestique, no, Le Majesto, that's right, tote. And the Suhali locket bag. I have one of these, love it. The body of it is the Suhali leather. That's the soft, supple goat skin. And then the top and the base and the handles are a very stiff leather that help keep its shape. Those are beautiful bags. That price for a Suhali locket is pretty incredible. So I don't know if there's something wrong with that bag, but if you're interested in a locket, this is the MM size, which is gonna be a little big. These bags are a little heavy too, and there's no shoulder strap, but that could be one to check out if you like that style. And let's look at the men's bags. These are mostly briefcases and messengers. So here is the Taiga. Taiga, if you don't know, is a particular leather from Louis Vuitton. It's like a cross-hatched vertical and horizontal kind of texture. So the Taiga Derso messenger bag. Here's a Daumier Giant 
Tere messenger bag. This is a fabric bag. The Vasily and the Robusto, those look very similar. The Port Document Lausanne. The Taiga Kazbek. This looks like, it's hard to tell, but it looks like it's a few different leathers. Like there may be some suede on there. So if you're interested in that one, check that out up close. The Ambassador briefcase. Why are some of these names in English and some in French? Why do they do this to us? And the Daumier Cobalt portfolio bag. I wanted to be sure to include that one because that is a coated canvas and it's the Daumier Cobalt. So it's a cobalt blue checkerboard print, which is really pretty and only available in the men's line. And those are the items that I found currently available at the time of filming from Louis Vuitton that are under $500 and that I thought were worth mentioning. So I will have all of these linked below for you so you can go check those out if you're interested in anything. I will also link the bags that are under a thousand in case you don't find anything here and you're willing to go a little bit higher. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you'd like any other videos in this series, particular price points that you want to see bags under or particular brands that you'd like to see under a thousand or under 500 or whatever number you pick, please let me know that in the comment section below because these are kind of fun videos to do. I, I love looking at all these websites. I look at all these websites every day anyway and looking at it in terms of price point, I learn more about some of the bags that I've never seen before, like that one tote bag thing that was lined in leather. So it's kind of fun to do these. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.